Who Blue Lock will be the next Haikyuu. Here's why. In the sports anime community, we know that Haikyuu ranks well above all the others and does great for manga sales, as well as its anime adaptation. But what if I told you that Blue Lock is on its way to the top, especially because of its anime adaptation coming out in October? In the Blue Lock universe, the stakes are much higher and goes as follows. Because Blue Lock itself is a training regime, if you were to actually lose, you'd be blacklisted from joining any of Japan's pro soccer leagues. Keep in mind, there are over 300 participants in this training regime, and there will only be one winner. So so this is what sets it apart from Haikyuu. This blue lock simulator is individualistic and relies on your own strength, versus in Haikyuu you rely on the strength of your friends through the power of friendship. But enough of the comparisons, let's get into the story of blue lock. So our story is set in modern day Japan. We start off with a meeting being held based on the losses of the last 25 years of the Japanese soccer league. Because of these losses, the Japanese pro soccer leagues decide to find the number one best striker and in efforts in doing so, create the training boot camp blue lock in which they invite 300 of the best participants for the chance to win the world's best striker and a position on the professional team. Which leads us to the primary protagonist of the story, Isagi Yoichi. One day after coming home from losing a game, Isagi receives a letter from Japan's Pro Soccer Association and invites him to partake in a player improvement project, which is basically the title of the anime, Blue Lock. Let's also keep in mind that Isagi is a second year high school student and is 17 years old, along with all the other 299 players. The crazy thing is that they actually have to live there and train daily, as well as have their own tournaments to see who gets eliminated from the Blue Lock project. For me, what makes this the best sports anime out there is because the stakes are so high. They are all growing and breaking their limits in order to win the first position and become the world's best striker. Their training includes a variety of different things including stamina, training, upper and lower body strength, for the most trained part of the body, the ego. Blue Lock is specifically trained to adapt an individualistic and egotistical mindset in which the striker can progress and have the fullest potential to win. Although everyone is technically a rival towards each other, they do have separate subdivision teams which are separated by the color of their outfit. But aside from that, let's talk about some of the abilities that these people have. So these abilities are actually called weapons. So each person has a weapon in Blue Lock. So let's bring up an example. So Isagi's weapon is actually the power of spatial awareness. He's basically able to analyze the entire field, the players, the energy they're giving off, and each of their abilities. It seems to be an instinct of his. Did I convince you that this is going to be better than Haikyuu? Let me know in the comments if I did. If not, I'd also like to hear that in the comments. Let's continue the conversation down there. And if you're interested in any other anime videos, please be sure to check out the rest of my channel because I have tons of content for you. Thank you. See you guys in the next one. Peace.